Something that isn't unique to Essex are standing stones. These adorn the British Isles from the northernmost reaches of the Shetland Islands to the Cornish Riviera, reminding us of our Celtic origins. Essex does have its own ancient stones, although perhaps not quite as impressive as Stonehenge or the Rollwright Circle of Stones in Oxfordshire. These stones have puzzled and fascinated the traveller and archaeologist for a very long time. Some might say that these vestiges from prehistory have a more profound significance. It seems that they weren't constructed in any haphazard manner, but were carefully aligned with astronomical precision, so that the advent of midsummer, the phases of the moon, and even eclipses could be accurately calculated. In Essex, these stones may be found in churchyards, such as here at Beecham Roading, and inside the church dedicated to St Lawrence and All Saints, near the busy airport at South End. In the early Christian era, according to... We learned that Pope Gregory gave advice to St Augustine in AD 601. The temples of the idols should on no account be destroyed. Destroy the idols, but the temples themselves are to be sprinkled with holy water, altars set up, and relics enclosed in them. In this way, we hope that the people, seeing that its temples are not destroyed, may abandon idolatry and resort to these places as before, and may come to know and adore the true God. Accordingly, at the Council of Nantes in around AD 650, the delegates were so incensed by the persistence of stone worship that they ordered all pagan temples be destroyed and the sacred stones hidden. The practice continued and centuries later, Canute condemned the worship of devil stones. We earnestly forbid all heathendom. Heathendom is that men worship idols, that is, that they worship the sun or the moon, rivers, water wells or stones, or great trees of any kind. So, witches, diviners and other evildoers were to be driven out of the land unless they amended. Ancient stones gave their names to some places in Essex. For instance at Alphamstone, where a Bronze Age settlement is believed to have existed. Ingate Stone, or Ingat Stone, meaning the people of the stone, and Leighton Stone also derive their names from various stones scattered around the county. Other ancient stones in Essex may be found in the churchyards at St Mary the Virgin in Little Burstead near Leyndon, St Peter's Church at Thundersley near Basildon, St Catherine's Church at Chadwell St Mary near Tilbury and in the village churchyard at Alphamstone near Colchester. Some stones have been moved from their original sighting, such as the so-called Jumping Stone, now relocated outside the wall of the clock tower in Great Dunmo. And the so-called Witch's Stone, which was moved from the crossroads at Boreham after the First World War and now stands at the entrance to the car park of the St Anne's Public House, close to the Essex showground at Great Lees. The Leper Stone, so-called because of its healing properties, now stands by the busy main road in Newport near Saffron Walden. While here on the hilltop at the church dedicated to St Botolph at Beecham Roading and some distance from the village, stands this impressive remnant of a past age. There's a strange legend associated with this stone. The story goes that a long time ago, the villagers decided to build a church. They chose a site near to the village. They also knew of a large stone on the hilltop, and lacking good building materials, they decided to drag the stone down to the village to use it in the building of their new church. To their surprise, on the following morning, the stone had mysteriously found its way back to the top of the hill. Since they needed the stone to build their church, they again dragged the stone back to the village. The next morning, the stone had again magically returned to the top of the hill. On the third occurrence of this strange phenomenon, the villagers decided that perhaps it was an omen, and that unseen forces were directing them to build the church on the hilltop, where it stands to this day. 
there are several similar local stories connected with these strange megaliths. This stone has for many years laid on its side until it was re-erected recently by a group of local earth mystery enthusiasts where they hope it will remain upright for all time.